Youth runner here with uh, Braxton Thiel on my left, uh, Gunnar Horning on my right from Olathe West. 1-2, uh, uh, team has five in the top 40, score 100 points uh, even. They are the uh, Maroon champions here at the 38th uh, Roy Griak Invitational. Guys, uh, ob obviously having the, the ability to, to be able to, to feed off one another for as, uh, as long as you can. Braxton, you know, especially when it's just kind of like you want to focus on what works best for you guys and your game plan, like how valuable was it that you, that you and Gunner could keep pushing each other and challenging each other for as long as you did? Well, I'm glad that I got to hook up with him early on in the race, and I think we kind of just ran with each other and built off. He was ahead of me, I was ahead of him, and then tried to finish strong off of that. So, so. Gunner, uh, just really, really being able to stay true to your guys' identity, right? You know, obviously, I know there is a loose amount of familiarity, you know, with some of the Heartland uh, teams, but uh, ultimately, it's like you have—you can only be the best version of Gunnar Horning. He can only be the best version of Braxton. So, how important was that that you guys just kind of race to your strengths and race to your identity? Um, yeah, I think racing to our strengths is a big part of um, us doing so well as a team. Uh, just pacing off Braxton is always a big help, especially at these like large meets where we're not going to see a lot of the guys that we know and you know the people that you're with throughout the race. Um, always being able to see Braxton in front of me or you know running beside him is just great for our team. So yeah. Uh, obviously, I know that you guys are going to show up whether it's 30 degrees or 30 mile an hour winds or you know. But I mean, when you have a, a race like uh, like today, and you know how precious these opportunities can be you know, to be on a legit course, you know, and have you know, favorable conditions. Not to say that you guys weren't, you know, going to be purposeful and intentional because you don't make a trip from Kansas to Minnesota, you know, uh, you know, just, you know, for a, you know, for a sightseeing adventure, you know, but just how, how blessed did you feel that the conditions were cooperative? Oh, it's, it's great. Both years that we've been here, they've just been wonderful races. The course is amazing. The staff's awesome. And uh, it really is just the environment to, you know, run well. And so I'm really glad that we can go to big meets like this. And, uh, yeah, couldn't be more thankful. Braxton, uh, the, the fact that, like you said, you guys were able to hook up early, but I give the rest of the group a lot of credit, right? The fact that they were all uh, you know, separated by... 10, 15 seconds, you know, for uh, you know, and, and with each other, you know, through you know, through 3K and, and 4K and whatnot. How how significant is that? Not just in terms of the competition and the legit course, but like just being in fields that are you know 200, 300 you know, athletes, and like how important it is going to be for the group to find one another, especially when you get to state. Yeah, I think our team we have a significant amount of depth, and we always a lot of our teammates try to run with one another or pace off of each other, and so when we're able to connect, we you can make big things happen and I think at state and regional meets where it's not going to be as big of a field I think we'll have a bit of an advantage there and really go quick. Uh, obviously I have the respect for you guys in your program that I know that you're a team especially with the two of you guys up front that are capable of being in the championship race but sometimes is it more valuable for the whole group yeah, I know that you guys can race with the best of the best regardless of what field you're in but for the entire group do you feel like sometimes it's more valuable just to be like hey you know like we're not here to win a championship on September 20th. Like we're here to win a championship, you know, if not, you know, multiple championships in, you know, in, in November. So was it good just to kind of like, hey, this like this is a good race for the whole group, and and we'll take advantage of you know whatever competition is there, whether even if it's only each other. Yeah, I mean, we. We went with each other for a fair amount, but I think for the rest of the team, this was a fantastic race, and I was really happy with the way they turned out, and I'm glad that we won. I think the championship race, it, it could have happened, and I think the rest of our team could have done well there as well. So. Awesome. Gunner, last thing. Obviously, uh, since you've been here before, how much of a blessing was just that understanding of kind of just how patient you need to be early on, you know, how much you need to respect the course early on, especially when you're going to attack that, you know, that, that last hill on the final K? Oh, yeah. The uh, course is uh, really forgiving through the first mile. It's pretty flat, and it's pretty quick because it's on a golf course. But um, from then on out, it's, it's really tough, so you kind of just got to stay patient within the race and know that it's going to get really tough and you're going to have to push through. But uh, just, you know, keeping your head in the game and just running as hard as you can. It's important. Awesome. Again, 1-2-5 in the top 40 in the uh, team championship uh, for Braxton and Gunner and Olathe West. Guys, stay healthy. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you.